This is like the holy grail of makeup bags. I mean, legit. Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a little bit different. You guys have been asking me for, honestly, a really long time to do a makeup tutorial, an updated makeup tutorial um, for what I guess I use. I'm gonna do that today. I did want to mention, um, as you can tell, I'm already dressed. We are going on a double date with some friends today, so today's makeup is going to be more of what I do when I go to church or like I'm going out on a date. Um, probably a little more glamorous than what I would do for everyday makeup. I've been through phases in my life where I'm like, I don't want to do makeup, I don't care to do makeup. But I'm back in a phase of I actually enjoy getting ready and doing my makeup when I go out. So, I haven't worn eyeliner like for three years and then all of a sudden now I'm back wearing eyeliner. I used to wear it every single day when I was like much, 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 much younger. <laughs> so, anyway, just know that I do not do a absolute full face of makeup like this every single day. However, I do um, for special occasions or when we're going to a nice restaurant or something like that. So, let's get started. If I'm looking over here or over here, it's because I have a mirror here, I have like a mirror here and I'm hoping to like, I have another phone set up over here. <laughs> so I'm hoping that you guys can actually see me um, doing my makeup and that this makes sense. All right. First up, my makeup bag. I've had this bag for years. It's the best. A little bit pricey, so, but this brand sent it to me years and years ago when they first started, so anyway, this is like the holy grail of makeup bags. I mean, legit. Can hold full size makeup products. A lot of my makeup is high-end makeup. However, I will say, I only typically buy makeup once a year. I usually buy it during Black Friday and that like helps save money but I also most of the time don't wear things like eyeshadow and stuff like that. So those palettes I have had for years, like at least three years. I've had this palette for well over three years. This is like a eyeshadow palette and obviously you can see that I have a lot left. Um, so also drugstore makeup, it works. I find that high-end makeup lasts longer and I can use less of it, so to each their own. All right, let's get started. I feel like I have to put my hair back because if I don't, um, I end up putting mascara and makeup on my hair and that's just annoying, let's be honest. When I have, ignore the kids in the background, they might be a little wound up, John is watching them, just FYI. When I am broke out, which I currently am, I'm not sure, like, I'm sure you can see that, but I'm broke out, just got off my period, so, <laughs> yay. I'm using, this is just like a drugstore um, concealer. I put concealer on first, then I put foundation, then I put concealer on. On top of that, if I'm like broke out, if not, I just do concealer under my eyes, but today, since I wanna be a little more glam, I'm gonna put this on first. This is the, Revlon, I don't even know that you can see that. The Revlon, I have no idea what color it can be like. Nothing fancy. Okay, had this for years and washed it so many times that all of this <laughs> has like since peeled off, but it's just like a foundation brush. I find that foundation brushes, for me personally, I use my hands like for years and I just find this to be more, um, I don't know. It blends it a little bit better. I feel like it's a little less um, splotchy. I'm also the worst at washing my makeup brushes, which is also why I break out sometimes, but you can't win them all. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I have three foundations because I've collected these over the years while they were on sale. This one is like not my color right now because it's too dark. This one is like my all time favorite ever. Um, foundation, but as you can see, I'm out and I haven't bought more because it's expensive. This is the one that I wear pretty much every day. 
Um, it's a little less expensive and I feel like it lasts a little longer. So, I'm gonna mix these two. I'm just gonna mix these together. Don't mind me. Whatever foundation works, so you don't need to like do this, but this is what I'm gonna do. Prepare to think I'm odd. I know, it's like a super weird thing. I was FaceTiming my sister the other day and I was doing this and she was like, you have lost your mind. Um, but <laughs> I have done this for years and so I know it looks ridiculous. I feel like it makes my makeup more even. I probably am like doing it wrong and it has, it just is all in my mind. But I, <laughs> I've done this for so long that it's like part of like my ritual. But I literally dot my foundation on because I feel like it spreads better. Although my sister was like, you can literally just put three dots on your face and then that would be it. Like you don't need all of this. I don't know why you are doing this, but this is what I do. And I just blend. Blend, 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 blend. That is the key to makeup, I guess, is blend. Okay, as you can see, this is why I put underneath um, that concealer first because I feel like it, it doesn't splotch and it takes away the blemishes, in my opinion, a little bit better. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm not a professional. <laughs> but if you wanna do it like this, you can try it out and see if it works for you. Cheapest foundation powder you'll ever find. I'm not called foundation powder. Powder, all day powder. So I use this, because my sister told me to do it. <laughs> and I do this first, just under my eyes. And if I have breakouts, and then I use a brush to put on the rest of, like just a setting powder to kind of keep everything in place. Okay, I know everyone uses contour. I don't, I use two, it's just too many steps. So I use this like, bronzer and all the all the numbers have like come off but it's called sun and fun it's a baked bronzer but i love it because it's like a mix of colors and i feel like it blends really well with anybody's because i obviously look pretty pasty right now so oh we have another guest all right so i just do this as a contour even though it's a bronzer and you're not supposed to do it as that this is what i use it for So I just go like down, what is this called? Like your cheekbone line? So if I'm in a hurry, I just go boop, boop, and then done. But if I am like have a little extra time, then I kind of layer it to make it a little bit thicker and it adds a little extra. I do, I literally just use this and I just put it on the crease of my eyes. Oh yeah, blush, another random, blush I got on sale, but uh, I love the blushes and the bronzers that are multicolored because I feel like they're easier to blend. Highlighter, this is the all time best ever. Um, I will tell you about this and this is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills called the Glow Kit. I think this is the best that there is. Has four colors, this is what I use for eyeshadow, this is what I use for highlighter. This is like my all in one. I would say if there's a product that I can't live without other than probably concealer, it's this. I don't know why, but it seems like it makes you look more glam. And then I take an eyeshadow brush and I use the exact same highlighter that I used on the rest and I just put it right on my eyelid. Okay, this is the brow I use. It's just a powder. But again, I've used this one for years. I just literally brush it on And that's literally it. I don't use any gels or anything like that. I just, it's simple. I feel like it's easy and it's, I've done this forever. I've also had this for two years and it still is going strong. So that's my eyebrows. If I am not going out on a date, I do not do this. It's just an extra step. But since I'm going out on a date, I'm gonna do it. I just use like a, a thin brush and I use um, whatever your favorite color of lipstick is. And then I just kind of outline because I don't have a lip liner. <laughs> I need one, but I don't have one. So this is what I do for a lip liner in place of that. Okay, so that's what I do basically for my lipstick. 
I just kind of brush that on and then when I get in the car, I put a lip gloss on, but I don't have my lip gloss up here, so. The hardest, the hardest step. Okay, eyeliner. If I am, again, not going on in a really nice date, I would not, I, I actually, it's shocking because I went in this phase of like years and years and years. I wore eyeliner every single day, like from the beginning of our marriage until like years in. I never went anywhere without eyeliner. And then I was like, this is so much work. So I stopped doing eyeliner. And for a while I had lash extensions. And so I, I really only used concealer and then lash extensions and it was fabulous. But now, um, my sister-in-law does eyeliner and she always looks so good with her eyeliner. She always looks so ready. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try eyeliner again. So. I am back to using eyeliner and she actually showed me a really cool tip um, to making like a wing eyeliner. Um, is that what it's called? Wing eyeliner wings? Winged eyeliner? I think that's what it's like. Alright, here we go. I use um, the tart. It's two-sided. This is supposed to be the crayons gone. This is the crayon. If I do it like with this side, which I'm not going to, but if, if I did, I would put it like the crayon on the inner part of the eye. But since I'm not doing that, I just use this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's not a crayon. It's basically like a wet pen. And I draw it on. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can see this from where you're at. Okay, I start by putting a... Uh, okay, I'm gonna picture this. A tiny, like, spot in the corner of both of them, like, kind of with the direction of where I want the eyeliner to go. So as you can see, they're both like, I just did two little tips that go up, okay? And then, <laughs> then I do this. I start really anywhere and I just kind of I'm gonna try and get lower so you can see this I just kind of dab a little tiny okay that didn't work dabs at a time okay so this is kind of what my sister-in-law told me she was like if you take your nail because it's still wet a little bit and you can see what it looks like right now. She was like, if you take your fingernail and you kind of just go with your fingernail, swoop it, swipe it upwards, then it kind of makes this nice like wing. Sometimes I do it incorrectly and it goes up instead of out, but the goal is to kind of get it to go out. If I feel like it's not wet still and I can't get it to go, I'll put like a tiny bit on my nail itself and then you literally just go like that. I don't know if you can see that well, but like it clearly like put like a much more doable wing without me like butchering it because I just, I can't. Okay, let's see if I can do this one. Okay, if I feel like it's too much, then I'll just take a, like a pointed brush and just kind of make it a little more smudged. If it makes two stark, stark lines. I can't tell because this is a little shadowed from the mirror, but like, hopefully you can see that better. It just is like a really pretty, um, cat eye. That's what it's called, cat eye. I use a lash serum for my mascara, not for my mascara. I use a lash serum and that's why my lashes are so long. Um, but one of my friends in college told me how to do these steps for getting really, really, really long lashes, okay? So I've also done this for a long time. I use a mascara primer, um, just an inexpensive, like, this is like seven or eight dollars, a drugstore. And then I just use like drugstore mascaras. One, I'll show you why I use two. Um, so I do a thin layer of this white one first. I'll show you that real quick. So I do a tiny little thin layer of this and it basically just helps when you put the first layer of mascara to make it be longer. Okay, so I did that. And then I I use um, the voluminous like million dollar or million lashes. This is fabulous, I think it's by like L'Oreal or something, sticker's gone, oh well. But 
if you notice the brush itself is like this super 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 like thin that probably didn't help to put it against black um, but like it's like these really thin so it kind of separates the lashes so I do this to separate them and I also use this if I am going fancy I put lash uh, mascara on my bottom lashes but if I'm not going fancy then I just skip that stuff all together but since we're in the mood and we're glamming so obviously that's the first layer of the mascara and then I use this one and the reason I use this one next is it's like a much like clumpier um, like it just makes it clumpier. I, I don't know how else to say it, but if you put this layer on first, your lashes get stuck together and they're hard to separate out after that. So that's why I kind of use the other one to separate the lashes. And then I use this to like make them longer and to add like thickness to the lashes. And I primarily just do this on the top part of the lashes, just the tip of them. I don't really like have to go from the bottom to the top because I've already like done that with the other mascara. Okay, much, 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 that looks <laughs> much better like that. All right, I, I do have a tiny bit of mascara that I got. I have a little mascara on the top of my eyelid, so I'm just gonna use a brush and kind of blend it in so you can't tell. Alrighty, people. Let's, hopefully that shadow went away. All right, I'm gonna take my hair out. Okay, I either like wear my hair down like this, and this is like the finished look, or if you want um, a little extra, and I want my earrings and stuff to stand out, then I will tuck my hair behind my ears, and then put on like a really fun um, pair of earrings. So anyway, this is the very finished look. Tell me what you guys think, and hopefully you like it, but there you have it. I am not going to link all of my makeup because it's just a lot, and I just change it based on like whatever's on sale. Uh, but I did link uh, last year, I think, a lot of what I'm using right now in my Like to Know It app, so if you're interested in like what exactly I use, I was just showing you guys how I put on whatever it is, not necessarily to show you what makeup products I use. So if you are interested in makeup products, you can go into my like to know it app and most of that is posted on there. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and thank you for joining you. I know it's not the traditional video, but I wanted to make sure that I made this since so many of you have been asking for it. So thank you and bye. Let's